Howdy everybody, uh, Jake Judge here with Mitchell Equipment. Um, so CVT stands for Continuously Variable Transmission, uh, which means that you don't have your regular gear patterns uh, like you do in your uh, normal transmissions that you've always been used to. Um, so that means that you can change speeds and there's multiple gears changing it at each time to be able to vary your speed uh, to what you wanna be doing. Um, so then we go into the why, why CVT. Um, and the, the very first and most important thing about CVT is that it's offering the fuel efficiency of 100% uh, mechanical efficiency at all times, uh, no matter what you're doing, uh, which offers a substantial fuel savings um, for the operator. And no matter if that's a novice operator or a expert operator, that machine is so smart that it's gonna be able to do the most efficient um, fuel calibrations uh, to make this machine run at the lowest RPM to enable it to do the job. Um, whether that's pulling a planter, um, you know, pulling a grain cart, whatever this machine's doing, it's doing it to the most efficient uh, way possible. Uh, now that you've kind of had an overview of what CVT is, uh, why we should have it, uh, let's jump in the cab and look at the uh, the components of it and what make up CVT. All right, howdy guys. Now we're going to jump in the, in the cab here and kind of talk through the pieces of the CVT and for you all to begin kind of thinking through how you can plug this fuel saving transmission into your operation. So uh, I guess we're going to start and we're going to go through the, the components of the CVT. This is a 165 uh, Puma tractor, Case IH tractor here uh, equipped with everything CVT related. So we'll kind of go through the components here. So we'll begin by looking at our throttle. Um, you know, it's obvious, the first thing that jumps out at you is these, your two throttles here. Uh, your dual throttle system and then your regular throttle system. Um, so the difference here, what these two dual throttles do is allow you to control your minimum and your maximum RPMs uh, needed to, to run this equipment. So. So we're right here, we're idling at uh, 850 RPMs. So if we want to ramp that up a little bit, say we want to run something, uh, we need to idle pretty higher than that. We just take this inside knob here and we go up. You can hear my tractor kind of rev up a little bit. So now we're up to uh, 11, 11, or 1,150 RPM uh, right there. Uh, so now we can drop that back down and that that's our range of our RPM uh, Second thing that's pretty interesting right here. We're right now. We're sitting in the forward position I started this tractor put it in the forward drove it over uh, And so we're still in forward so but what you'll notice is that we're stopped, right? So if I take this our throttle and I go forward This tractor begins to move so what this is, is uh, our active stop feature of this CVT transmission. So they call it active stop. So I just dropped our throttle clear back. I didn't, I didn't touch the clutch or nothing, but we're stopped now. And this is considered our active stop. So uh, how I've been thinking through this in my head is kind of comparing it to a self-propelled uh, wind rower. Uh, you know, you don't have a clutch in a self-propelled wind rower, so we kind of got to train our mind to no longer thinking that our clutch is our best friend and our stopping uh, and doing that slowing down kind of thing. We can do that all with our throttle uh, to maintain our throttle control and do all that. So I'll show you all some interesting things. So we'll be going for, we'll start, we'll go forward here. And now say I want to change directions and go backwards. I don't touch the clutch at all. I just drop it into backwards and my transmission takes care of everything sending me the other way. Say active stop works the same in reverse too. So our, our transmission works uh, exactly the same moving forward as it does going backwards. So this is a pretty cool tool uh, when we're going to hook up our equipment here. So say we want to go back super slow and then stop, we can just go back, ease back with it and then boom, stop. Uh, and then uh, another cool feature right here is our twist knob and so what we'll do is we'll kind of enable that so this allows us to have our maximum speed minimum speed in each range uh, so there I'm kind of sliding around so now we'll go up here to our F2 range and it kind of slides it, it's sliding it down yep so we're gonna slide it down say we want to go 10 miles per hour with our max RPM in, in that range uh, so I guess we're gonna notice our three ranges we got here R1 R2 R3 uh, that's just reverse one, reverse two, and reverse three. So say if I want to switch it to forward here, 
So now we're going forward, changes it to F1, F2, and F3 that way. Uh, and so that allows us to set our maximum speeds in each range from our F1. So say we're chasing the grain cart or we're running the grain cart with this tractor and uh, our combine speed is 5.5 miles per hour. So we have that F1 set, so we'd be at full RPMs at that 5.5 uh, chasing the grain cart. Then we get full, we need to run over to the truck. We just drop it up into F3 uh, and it's automatically set at the fastest speed that we can go uh, and it'll, it'll have us running over to there. So, you know, in conclusion, you can see, it's pretty obvious to see that no matter what range you're in, your tractor is going to be operating at the most ideal RPM for that speed to save us fuel, or to save our fuel efficiency. So we're always operating in the best fuel efficiency possible, which is, which is an awesome feature of this. Um, so kind of give you the rundown of the CVT. Uh, it's a great feature for our fuel efficiency. You know, no matter what your experience level is, novice, uh, very experienced, you're going to get the, the most miles per gallon out of your tractor as possible. So um, thanks for tuning in. I hope you learned a lot about the CVT.